problem number 16 from module E. Before we go into the actually using the software, I want to show you how to get the number of units. So this question has always had a lot of questions from students just because of the way that it's expressed. The actual calculation is actually quite simple. So in part A, so in part A, what you need to do is you need to take the coefficient 1.4. So you take the 1.4 and you divide it by coefficient of the formula, which is 0.7 to learn it. All right. So the 0.7 per millisentence. And then you get two. The answer for part B is you take the 89.6 and divide it by the 0.7 and you get 128. So you're going to need to know the, the last number. The, you don't actually have to do the calculation for A at this point. You need to know the last unit for when we go into the software. So we're going to go to chapter module, A, module E. We're wanting to determine the times in this particular case. So what is the expected price? All right. So the last unit is actually 128. Okay. So the base unit is, in this particular case, the base unit is 100, the time, and the learning co coefficient is 0.7. So in this particular case, the answer for A, what is the expected price here, is 70. And then way, way, way down for the final unit, the answer for B is 0.23.